Hello, my soccer universe. Well, we're not going to talk about the Derby this time because I made an entire video about it. You can uh, see the link here if I don't forget to put it in. Um, but yeah, I want to mention one thing that I forgot because in all my euphoria, I of course needed to mention that Lukaku had two big chances to equalize late in the game, uh, especially the last kick where Donnarumma saves it. Yeah, but. Enough, I'm still over the moon. It was very tempting to again put all Milan here. I decided against it. I'm wearing Milan and for the first time I'm actually on the wall. I'm more Roma than Milan jerseys, but you know, this one is the equalizer in there. Let's talk the other games before uh, and see how beautiful this all plays out for Milan this time around. Napoli Atalanta was a game I really looked forward to. Really, 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 really. And it actually delivered. However, it was done also after the first half because Napoli came out storming. Uh, Lozano in 23rd and 27th, then Politano with a thunderous shot, and then Victor Ogeman adds a fourth one. Atalanta not on the field. What's happening to Atalanta? I was worrying. Maybe they were preparing for the Champions League, but I don't think so. I think Napoli is the real deal this season. I think Napoli is a team to be watched. Um, all Milan, Craze and Inter, whatever aside, I think Napoli is the real deal uh, this season. And watch out, maybe injuries can stop them, maybe they can stop them, they will stop themselves, but I honestly, they are scary. They're absolutely scary. Great defenders and great attack on front. And I would love it if Gattuso could actually uh, win another title to kind of prove his doubts that I was wrong. It, it would make me so happy because I really like Gattuso. I already was one of my favorite players and as a coach he's a great man manager and if he now can get Napoli uh, on track to a title uh, he will be a hero. They will make a statue of him next to Maradona. I'm sure about that. Um, Derby win. Uh, Sampdoria beats Lazio. I didn't see anything of it. I just heard that Lazio absolutely was horrible. Um, and I don't know, again, preparing for Champions League, I hope not because you don't lose 3 0 at some, some, some Sampdoria if you want to have anything to do with the title. But maybe that answers the question. Lazio will not have anything to do with the title. Um, Crotone Juventus was interesting, uh, to say the least. Crotone got the lead through a penalty by Simi, and then Juventus got a little bit back in the game. Uh, and Chiesa in his uh, first game for Juve assists Morata in the 2021st to make it 1-1 one, one. and from that moment on you think that maybe Juve will get something going but it was not Flamin. they played a lot of uh, Pirlo played a youth squad and you know Juve still needs to get going under um, Pirlo and definitely Chiesa's red card although it probably was a little bit hard but yeah, um, you cannot go in there as well. Definitely did not help either, so he gets a red in the 60th. They thought they got the winner through Morata, but it was an uh, offside also. Yeah, <laughs> you were 1-1. One, one. Uh, so with that already, and you know when you saw Matarata, we were already happy that basically with that it was clear that uh, Atalanta losing and you were not... Milan will be clear on the table. The only team that could uh, throw a wrench in, you know, having really big distance was Sassolo. And for the longest of times, it really looked that Bologna will do me and all Milan fans the favor to open a huge gap for Milan. Uh, they were 3 1 up. Yes, Berardi equalized in the 18th, eight, but Swanberg, Ossolini, and uh, the first goal by Soriano. Bologna looked really fine going forward. In the 60th minute, they're up 3 1. Ivar Djuricic very quickly pulls one back. Uh, they were also then after the three one, the coach um, is it Acerbi uh, made uh, three changes and that changed the complexion of the game. Caputo in the seventieth gets the equalizer and then with an own goal what in the seventy seventh. See they didn't even take so they fifty minutes they had turned the game game around and get a win and yes you have to say that Sassuolo is also one of those really exciting teams. They are the mini Atalanta. Um, it was an early game, and so I didn't think about watching it. Uh, this is but uh, Sassuolo. Always, always watch Atalanta, even if they lose. Sassuolo is also a team that is worth your time, definitely. If you're a uh, new kind of to Serie A, it's gonna be an exciting season. I see it. Um, 
exciting for a little bit was uh, Spezia for uh, Fiorentina because after four minutes Fiorentina was supposed to nil up I was working here on my Champions League uh, stuff I had the game and then I said okay no I need to switch this because Fiorentina is gonna run a riot it doesn't interest me I did disregard my personal rule that uh, it has to be a three goal deficit and even that bit me in the behind this weekend uh, Spurs but then I said okay yeah let's switch it and I was then flabbergasted when I saw a little bit later that it's actually 2-1 uh, and because uh, Verde, Verde put one back and uh, Farias in the 75th gets the equalizer and then Spezia was pressing they should have won that game honestly they should have won that game I really like the Fiorentina jerseys at first I, I, I did not really get it I thought that um, they're playing in Florence Spezia is having a nice stadium really did they, they, they did not expect that thought they're playing in florence and then i said no uh, as a home jersey no but as a way to, uh, as a way jersey pretty cool although they could have played in purple as well i'm pretty sure but i think those red jerseys uh performed well uh torino Cagliari 2-3 another big game that i didn't see i saw a little bit <laughs> yeah i saw the first 20 minutes of udine against parma udine playing in blue against parma in uh yellow so basically it was a parma game again uh, watch my Serie A review and you know uh, what I think about the Udine jerseys and so on. Um, I switched the channel. I said I'm going to watch NFL and that was to my disregard when it was still 0-0 because Ernani, uh, the flag shot, gets a 1-0 for Parma. The two minutes later, Udine can equalize through Samir. Then uh, Jacoboni on goal in the second half quickly puts it 2-1 for uh, Parma, uh, for Udine. Caramo can equalize, but then Pozzetto gets the late winner for Ulne. Another really exciting game. The goals are flowing. You know, we're not quite there yet on uh, Premier League levels, but Serie A is getting there. And Roma did their part to make them get there. Yes, Benevento is one of those teams that is also fun to watch because they are great going forward and leaking goals on the backside because there's no security blanket there. They took the lead through Caprari, but Pedro, after Lorenzo Pellegrini assist, and was kind of uh, weaving pattern. A lot of uh, the, the Benevento defenders also helped a little bit in there uh, to get it 1-1. Uh, Checo makes it then 2-1. He loves to play against uh, newly promoted teams. And yeah, uh, Mkhitaryan would actually have scored a third one, but it was disallowed for offside. Then Lapadulo misses the penalties, uh, Slatan style, but also Slatan style, he converts it, makes it 2 2. You think uh, game on, but they concede another, they, they, they concede a penalty. Very 2 uh, 2 1, and then they run away with Jacko. And Perez, the Perez goal, really nice. He just came on a few minutes before. And the way he runs through the defense and so on, a really great, great goal. Roma impressive at 5-2 uh, winners and might be another team. I don't see them uh, cracking in there quite yet, but uh, Roma can be a really exciting team to watch as well. Didn't see much of uh, Hellas against Genoa, but from what is nil-nil, not really designed. So let's look at the table. Um, and this is now the table after... You know, the changes to the left are from the position that we had Sunday morning. So please uh, take, take a little bit of salt. We see that Sassolo moved up and is now two points behind Milan. Uh, would have Sassolo lost, Milan would have a three point uh, lead, which I would have preferred a little bit more. But hey. Um, so Sassolo goes ahead of the Atalantas, the Napolis, and so on. Napoli, of course, only eight points because of the points deduction. Uh, Roma also goes goes ahead of Sampdoria again. So again, you need to take it a little, little bit salt, but at least on the bottom we see that um, there has been a lot of movement uh, that makes always for an interesting season. And now, unbelievable to me, and I guess I need to find you the model a little, a little bit more. It's... Uh, I have, to, I have the feeling it takes a little bit too much, um, you know, the games are too even uh, than the Radix, but Milan now are favored to win Serie A. That I would not sign, honestly, but hey, as a snapshot, I put them up there. As I said, I probably need to fine-tune my model a little bit more. Although I could also, also leave because if you didn't know, don't use this probabilities for betting because they are just informative and just for fun. Nothing that you should bet on. Uh, Napoli and Inter are behind and you were only in fourth spot that I find rather amazing and let's see where it will go 
I'm so excited for the Milan start, but it's only four games. And also already next, next round is a big one. Uh, the Monday night game between Milan and Roma. Again, around my birthday uh, last year, it was directly on my birthday, last the day before my birthday. Um, other games, I hope for Atalanta to bounce back. So, so you know, Sassuolo to Atalanta has already won, but I may, 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 may not the pick of the bunch. Um, Juve Hellas, that's a tricky tie. Genoa Inter, it, you know, it all boils down. Milan, Roma, what do more and what do you need to say? Please add some comments of what you thought about this round in Serie A. There is one last thing I need to add, and it is Derby related. I just uh, saw that the Milan ladies also won the Derby. I didn't know that they played the Derby. And they did even better than the men. They won the home Derby 4 1. So a perfect, perfect weekend for any Rossonero. Well done, ladies. <claps> Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and see more. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get an update whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, wish you a wonderful day. Bye!